Alright, um, what's cracking? This is my video on whether or not you should buy true religion jeans. Okay, this is the price tag for a true religion jean. I'll show you my jean in a second. I mean, these are some of the most expensive jeans right now out on the market. They're made in the USA. Let me make sure that I'm not, I'm not misleading anyone. Yes, they're made in the USA. United States of America as you, as you can see this one went for $319 $319 that's like <laughs> 10 pairs of jeans right there okay um, they say that it's it's they're made in high quality and yes they're made in high quality they're 100 percent cotton um, I don't get paid by true religion to uh, amp up their products I'm just stating my opinion. Um, I think they're v way, way, way overpriced for the product they're offering. But hey, um, if you are a fan, you are a fan. I, there's nothing I can do to, for you. There's nothing I can do to decrease the price. The price is what it is. Uh, let's get into the jean. I'll show you the. I have two pairs right now. Show you the one I have. Uh, bought this like two years ago. No, even more, like three years ago. I didn't buy it from the store, I bought it from a dealer, carries True Religions. I'm going to take it into the light so you guys can see it better. Uh, here's the jean, you can look at the stitching. The, st the stitching looks that it's been done by hand and not machine. Okay, I'm not certain, I'm just guessing, but the stitching looks very, very fine. Alright, these are thick stitchings. You don't generally see these on a pair of jeans. Okay, see the True Religion logo on the side, and see the stitching being exaggerated on the crotch, where it's more viable. Um, follows all the way down through the jean. Uh, there's stitching. There's minor stitching on the side, but there's more stitching by the pockets. Uh, it decreases as you move to the side. There's a ton of stitching on. The back pockets, as you can see, uh, back pockets or the back side is where most of the stitching is. The reason why I bought this pair is because of the wash. Um, I like the wash, I like the color. It's unique. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's white on blue. I'm guessing. White on, yeah, it's it's white on blue. Had it for a while, so it's kind of faded. Um, the stitching it has been in place except for a couple places. You see, it's good. it's coming loose. Like, I mean, I've wore this this pair over a hundred times. Not over. I I would say I've worn it about fifty times, sixty to be fair. Um, the biggest problem though is right here. On the ankle, um, every time I wear it, it rips. I don't know why if my foot gets caught in here and it rips. Uh, it's meant to look like this, but all the threads just came out. As you can see, the threads have came out, and it's just a mess. Um, if I ever buy another pair, I'll make sure it doesn't have any any uh, openings like this, where it's covered in thread. I would just get a solid pair. No threading whatsoever because it always rips. The The other pair I have doesn't have any threading in it at all. Um, I also have two marks here. These were made by the factory. I, I did not alter the jeans whatsoever. The, I, the way, when I bought the jeans, these were on it. Okay, um, what else? What else? Oh yeah, the bottom stitching goes all the way to the bottom and uh, yeah I like it looks good it's, it's comfortable it's whatever uh, when you first buy it it's it's really really if it fits really nice it's really comfortable after a while it gets worn down and it's whatever I mean it's still in good condition even though I've had it for four years I would recommend buying it from the um, 
shit, what is it called? Not from the True Religion store, but from another carrier, someone else that carries them. You could bargain them down, maybe 40, 50 bucks. Or you could even buy them from a True Religion. It's, I, I forget what it's called, but uh, shit. But you could buy them cheaper, okay? If you wait a couple of years, um, you could buy them from Marshalls, uh, TJ Maxx, even the True Religion. I forget what it's called. Whatever. Uh, but the most, I mean, the most you're going to spend per pair is $200. Okay. No, actually $150. I bought the other pair I have, it's a couple years, it's like 8 years older, and I bought it for $150. Um, this is the cheapest I've ever seen them go for. And this one that I have is obviously the newer one, it's like one of the newest ones they have. I paid $280 for this one, it was $319, bargained the guy down $40. Bucks. Uh, paid. I mean, it, it was worth it. I mean, I've worn it a ton of times. And um, I'm, I'm happy with it. If you have that kind of money, buy it. If you don't, buy something like Rockin' Republic, uh, Dickies. I don't know, whatever that fits your comfort. Um, if you don't buy True Religions, you could... Don't, I, I wouldn't recommend spending more than $100 per jean, for, for a pair of jeans. Especially because it's made in U.S., Top quality, 100% cotton. It even smells good. It still smells good. I mean, even the inside, yeah, it smells new. I don't know if it's because of my belt or because of the jeans. But yeah, um, my review of True Religion, recommend West Coast, repping. Um, we keeping it real out here. If you got questions about the jeans, leave them below. And yeah, West Coast.